Hi, good day, and happy new moon to you. I've um, posted a couple of videos today of a practice, some heating for 20 minutes. I don't know how long the grounding new moon part was, but there was that. And now I am going to do this little new moon meditation uh, with some contemplations, some like visual contemplations. So I've been in this... Um, tantric immersion for a while with the wonderful Harish Wallace and um, studying the sutras, the ancient non-dual Kashmiri tantric Shaivic sutras of ancient time um, that are still so valid today, amazingly, beautifully valid. And basically they all say the same thing. You know, so I probably didn't have to spend so many months studying them or years now, but um, but I have <laughs> because it's not easy stuff to get. Your mind's like, oh yeah, totally get that, but to really absorb it is a whoa. So basically, what they all say, how I like to put it, is that everything is everything. Yes, everything is everything. We are all God, Goddess, yes, Source, Creator, Universe. We are all made of the same stuff. Science has proven it. We are all stardust. Everything is made of the same stuff. Everything is vibrating in and out of being. It may not even be. Maybe only I see this. Oh, now maybe you do. Anyways, it's just all one, 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 one. And we share in this beautiful one together. Science has proven this in lots of ways, actually. Um, so it can sound so fluffy, right? We're all one, yeah, man, peace and love. But it is so true. <laughs> and so some of the ways that science, science, science has proven this is that, you know, it's taken um, measurements of um, vibrating quarks, which are like smaller than protons or neutrons or... or I'm not so scientific, but the science is these vibrating particles of matter, whatever size they are, are moving, pulsing exactly the same way and in the same timing, everything. So they're like, oh, it's their, it's their location to one another, you know? So they move them so far away, different places, all these guardings, and still they're moving the same exact way. Strange, right? So the analogy has been made that even though they can be seen and looking differently from different places, that um, but they're moving the same, they're pulsing the same, they're still connected somehow. And along those same lines is this beautiful analogy of um, a fish in a fishbowl, where from a different angle you'll see, you know, this flat thing. From another angle you'll see this, you know, face, or you'll see the tail, you see all of these um, parts that look so different and they're refracted and they're bent and so you don't see everything. There's this big circle that holds it all and these things are moving at the same time, with the same kind of movement, but they're completely different things viewed from completely different angles. How could they be the same thing? But they are because we know it's about a fish in a fishbowl. Okay, one more beautiful analogy, or maybe we'll see what comes up, but this one. Okay, so a bunch of blind men in a room, you may have heard this one before, um, where they bring an elephant, or maybe the elephant was there and then the blind guys came in. <laughs> Anyways, there's six of them. And they're reaching around and, and they each get to like check out their area of elephant, you know? So one of them feels its strong legs. Oh yes, an elephant is like a pillar. Another one feels its whiskey tail. Oh, an elephant is like a broom. Another one feels its big floppy, you know, caressing kind of ear. It's like a kind of basket thing. Another one feels its nose. Oh, it's like a hose. It's definitely like a hose. Another one's like, oh, it's definitely like a wall. It's solid, it's right there, oh, that's it. You know. So so all these perspectives on what something is, imagine if these blind men suddenly became not blind and they could see, whoa, it's all the same damn thing, man. Janice knew it. She had plenty of drugs. They don't really help you know it. But we get these glimpses and we have, I'm sure you'll have throughout life, of like, oh, feeling that oneness with everything, that flow. And then, this is way over three minutes. But there it is. <laughs> the remembrance of our oneness and all the myriad of ways that it shows up and can be celebrated. Blessing. Blessing. Less than five minutes. Blessings.